One. <laughs> Redacted. We're back today with this month's monthly recap for the month of December 2013. Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, all of that rubbish. Uh, we hope you had a great time. Sorry it's a bit late, I've been on holiday. With me today is, of course, Arizad, the uh, other, and some would say better, of the two owners of Game Redacted. I will try not to say that, but everyone else does say that, so I felt like it needed to mention. Hurry. Today we'll be doing the recap a little bit differently. Blind people. So this month we launched our newest Gmod server, we're starting a Noir RP server, which is Dark RP Reimagined. It's very cool. A lot of people have been working very hard to say yeah. that. I need to say that again because I was just looking down there. Yeah, no, you can still talk to it. Okay, that's fine then. Right, so with Noir RP, it's basically a 1950s themed Dark RP. It's a little bit like 1950s Dark RP, which is already a game mode, but it's heavily customised, which is about, I mean, more customised than any of our other servers. So it's maybe a 500, 600 megabyte download when you join. But um, I was up until 5 a.m. the other day trying to configure stuff, and it's still not fully configured, it's only an open beta. That's, that's pretty much it. It's only on 10 slots, but I'll be expanding that pretty soon, maybe even today, since it was... It had 10 out of 10 players. <laughs> <laughs> it had 10 out of 10 players until like 1am last night, and then people started leaving. I'm pretty sure Core Delicious has been playing since last night on Soul. So shout out. Delicious. Not, not an official shout out yet, because that's not this part of the recap. No, it's, it's not. So this is just a friendly. It's, not, it's actually not Mr. Disney Boy, boys. So I've been off on holiday in uh, Mordor for a few weeks, so I haven't really had a chance to see it, but from what I've heard, the Minecraft server is coming along very nicely, just like that shot was very nice. Um, we're getting a few good constant players on the server, right? That's what yeah. I um, Shout out to Red Sausage. But not an official shout out, because that's not the it's right, not the that's not the right shout section, out yet. section of the video yet. Maybe I give out shout outs too liberally. Yeah, I think we are shouting out a, a lot of people today. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of notable members of our community. So then we've also started the Game Back to the World Cup this month, which a lot of you have been taking an eager eye on. If you haven't seen the first round of that, which was. Uh, Benzilla vs. Blaze. Gripping match, gripping match, let me tell you. So you can, uh, I'll have the little video here, little link. Future, science. <laughs> um, um, so, I'd like to just um, initially apologise to the people that we couldn't accept into the World Cup. There were 16 slots, people asked me to make it 32, he asked me to make it 32, but I didn't. So, um, as an apology for that, I will now be taking a, uh, a well to punishment. Alright, you've got to take the ball. Oh, I can't. I can't do this. It doesn't go straight, Robbie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it didn't hit. Alright, on the forum news, uh, I've created a new category for Noir RP. And in that category, you will find a sub forum called Stories. And basically, if you are an avid player of Dark RP and would like to share your story about your character on the forums, this is where you can do it. For example, my my <laughs> my, my, oh, fucking hell, <laughs> my name is Arizad Redactedman, and I come from a fucking hell. I come from a long line of bartenders who moved here three generations ago. Don't get it lost. Before Quinn lost the ball. Before Quinn... Wow, that's really bad. Okay, so as I was saying before, and 
an example of a story would be mine. I am Arazar Dakhman, and I am a bartender who comes from a long line of bartenders who moved to Amirza three generations ago. My father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather were all bartenders. And I am also a brewer, and I brew my own beer for my bar. And you may know it as booze. Richard Dixon came to the city a few days ago and he is my bestie because he is a police officer and he protects my bar from all the baddies. I'm a hooker! Hey, you're not here from the dawn, aren't you? I, I change around a bit. Oh yeah. My name is Androgynous. Nancy Bofard. So this reminds me, if you have been enjoying your up here or any of our service, uh, we are run pretty much entirely on donations, so if you can help that out, that would be great. Donate for the Queen to get this fleet from Paul. So on to channel news now, we've actually started accepting more content creators as part of our channel. People like Heroic HD, who've been making some fantastic content and doing some great Game Redacted live streams if you want to watch them. People like Stefan, who I think I might have announced last month. <laughs> uh, and then... So bad. K, hey, Scorpion, they've all been making videos and it's been very yeah. good. This is always something we wanted to do. Except, oh, I nearly hit the microphone there. <laughs> um, I'm reaching there, it's spider. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, what about we do the shout outs doing around the world? You know, around the world. You hit and put the bat down, spin, pick up the bat again. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, so on to the official chef out section. Let's <laughs> play <laughs> around the world. It's even working. <laughs> that is a microphone hit. <laughs> Are you okay, microphone? <laughs> okay, so. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> First chair. Uh, we can't do it around the world, Robbie. I just wanted to do it around the world, Ari. We can't talk much, we can't. <laughs> no, it is, it is another level of difficulty. Alright, first shout out goes to Banana, aka Captain Duck, aka Richard Dixon, who has been tirelessly helping me configure the Duck RP in the RRP server, and has successfully helped me test how many files I can botch on last downloads. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that go? <laughs> okay, so my first official shout out. Of this recap goes to Benzilla. What number is he? Is he 505? 05? 08. Is he 08 as well? He's 08. He's always so on two Ben something 08. There's, 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 there's Benji 08. There's Benji 08 and there's Benzilla 08. Okay, well, my first official. No, shot. is there a Benzilla 08? I thought he was 05. I don't think he's 05. My first shout out of this game goes to Benzilla. No, he's 05. Benzilla 05. Benzilla NZ. No, no, that's his new one. On the, on the forums, he's still got his old name. Which is Benzilla 05. Yeah, Benzilla 05. Yeah, he's definitely. Benzilla 05. 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 Benzilla Benzilla 05. 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 A lot younger, I think. Yeah. And well, I have the same age here. Uh, my first uh, shout out of this goes to Benzilla for being a champion and just being a champion. Uh, yep, that's all I've got to say about Benzilla. A second shout out goes to. Yeah. Right, yeah, it goes to Cormilicious, who seems to have been playing Noir RP for the past 12 hours. So although we He's said definitely in the team. <laughs> <laughs> although we said before we weren't giving him an official shout out, we have actually just given everyone there an official shout out. Yeah. The first ones were official, they were kind of like like warm-up shout-outs. Woo! Um, do you wanna give another shout out? <laughs> okay, so my next shout-out goes to Soulstorm for being beautiful. It's written in the script. I mean, I kinda can't say anything else. But yeah, you know it's also. Our third shout out goes to someone named. I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. His name is Puddles, I think. He changed his name a lot. Yeah, he changed his name a lot. <laughs> but. I think I just did it right in front of the camera there. I don't care. The shout out goes to him for. Sending me a Snapchat that I couldn't open and clogging my feed for about six days. Was it a video? No. 
I can't open any video Snapchat sent from things that aren't iPhones. No, 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 it's a picture. But each time I held, like, you know how you hold it down to load it? Um, it just said loading each time it loaded. That's weird. And so I couldn't actually open it, and like, it just set, stayed unread. No! <laughs> Please don't lose the ball. Alright, what's the opposite of a shout out? Huh? What's the opposite of a shout out? It's more like a... You mean like the opposite of the shout or the opposite of the out? Okay, well, I'm gonna give a whispering. My <laughs> I'm gonna give a negative shout out to Benji08 because he's been pissing me off lately. <laughs> ben, what game am I playing in the World Cup? Shut up, Benji! You need to take a chill pill. And that pretty much brings us to today's discussion topic. Uh, Alright, enjoy that discussion topic. Um, okay, so today's discussion topic is a game's modifiability. Uh, Mod modability? Modability. And how much that impacts how good the game is. Because th this is kind of topical at the moment. Topical. Uh, because the uh, <laughs> AAA game, Titanfall, announced by EA that looks to be one of the biggest games coming out this year has announced that even the PC version will have absolutely fuck, no mod capabilities. <laughs> we will not be able to mod that game because EA is against it. And we saw that with a few things. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. Um, a few other games coming out this year. So obviously since we run servers on Gary's mod and Minecraft, Two of the most modificable. Modificable. Okay, uh, modificable. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just a ping pong ball. In my balls. It's just a ping pong ball. Um, <laughs> that is. So, we wanted to ask you guys how much you care about your game being modifiable? Modable. Modable. So leave us a reply in the comments or on our forums. Or and you could tweet it to us, I guess. This is another question. Post, post uns delivered unto you from the great Arizona. <laughs> Would you buy a game solely for the purpose of modability? If its base game was really boring, or like not really boring, but kind of bad, but it had a really good mod kind of community, database, I don't know. Would you still buy it? And would you buy it for the purpose of more? For example, I want to uh, get DayZ on it. Which is, which, is a lot, which is pretty much the only thing people play on. Or survival based on it. My computer is too bad to buy it. My computer is too hard. It's fucking a game. Yeah. Games like that. Would you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Leave a comment on the forums or on the YouTube or on the Twitter. I don't know, you can mail me, freaking PO box. I think we have a me. Twitch TV account that you could leave a comment on. You made a comment on Twitch TV, yeah. Uh, you can go on the Minecraft server and send me some mail for the Essentials mail system. Which is pretty nifty actually. You just leave people messages. Wow, that's a feature. And to end this video, Ari, we're going to play a first 11 match.